Our residency program uh, picks doctors soon after they've completed the internship, as well as those who've been practicing in the field. Uh, entry requirements usually is that you pass the entry examination, which has two aspects. There is both written and a practical examination. Currently, we've been taking three to four residents per year. We hope we can increase that number to five or more. Uh, upon joining the program, uh, you'll be geared to join a four-year um, training program, which is highly individualized. Uh, we currently have 15 residents and 15 faculty, a ratio of one-to-one. -one. That tells you that our mentorship is very specific, very personalized. We'll be able to pick a resident right from the time we are able to get them into the program, walk them through the four years and release a highly uh, trained, highly competent, a consultant who's able to meet the specific needs of the community. So our program is a four-year program. In the first year, it's mainly getting to go through the basic sciences, getting to learn your ways around and getting to um, learn the basics of uh, being around. In the second year, we take it a notch higher, whereby we start introducing you to more complex aspects of uh, uh, being a consultant gynecologist, and this is carried on to the third and fourth year. Uh, most of the third year is spent out of the department because this is when we do community work, we do external rotation, so residents tend to spend about half of their time outside the department, but uh, it's still highly supervised and uh, we ensure that we don't lose you. Uh, as part of the requirements, uh, as you do your training, you go through the academics, you're required to do a dissertation, which is one of the most important milestones you need to achieve. And this also has its own milestones. By the first year, you should have got a concept note. Uh, second year, you should have got your proposal ready. And by fourth year, uh, first quarter of fourth year, you should have completed your write-up and submitted it by the 30th of March in readiness for uh, uh, subsequent steps and uh, publication. We boast of being one of the institutions in the country and actually in the region that has very high uh, modern equipment. By doing your residency program in Aga Khan, by the time you graduate, you'll have been able to do a lot of laparoscopic procedures or what we call minimal access surgery. You'll be able to uh, know when and how to do most of the intervention of procedures. We have um, procedures like uterine fibroid embolization, which we do a lot. We have procedures in fetal medicine, which we do a lot. And this is just among other procedures that we are introducing. So by you choosing to join the program in Aga Khan, you'll be exposing yourself to a lot of these modern uh, technologies that will make you a better consultant when you exit from the program. We evaluate a student's performance in two ways. There is a performance at every clinical encounter. As mentioned, our program is very individualized. At every encounter, be it in the clinical or non-clinical areas, we are evaluated by the faculty. And then at the end of the rotation, we get uh, end of rotation cuts, we get end of rotation, end of quarter uh, assessments. And at the end of uh, part one and part two, we'll also have uh, end of part one and part two examination.